Listen carefully. Linda's Weekends Routine Linda is a single woman who lives in a small house in the city. She works as a teacher at a school from Monday to Friday. On the weekends, she likes to relax and do some fun activities at home. On Saturday morning, Linda wakes up at nine o'clock. She feels happy because she does not have to go to work today. She gets out of bed and goes to the bathroom. She brushes her teeth, washes her face, and takes a shower. She puts on some comfortable clothes and goes to the kitchen. She makes some coffee and toast for breakfast. She turns on the radio. She enjoys her breakfast. She likes to start her day with a good mood. After breakfast, Linda decides to do some cleaning. She takes a broom and a dustpan and sweeps the floor. She takes a cloth and a spray bottle and wipes the windows. She takes a vacuum cleaner and vacuums the carpet. She takes a mop and a bucket and mops the tiles. She takes a trash bag and throws away the garbage. She feels proud of herself for making her house clean and tidy. She looks at the clock and sees that it is 11 o'clock. She thinks that she deserves a break. She goes to the living room and sits on the sofa. She picks up a book from the coffee table and starts to read. She likes to read books because they make her imagine different worlds and characters. She reads for an hour and then puts the book down. She feels hungry and decides to make some lunch. She goes to the kitchen and opens the fridge. She sees some eggs, cheese, ham, lettuce, tomatoes, and bread. She thinks that she can make a sandwich with these ingredients. She takes out a frying pan and a knife. She cracks two eggs and puts them in the pan. She cuts some cheese and ham and adds them to the eggs. She flips the eggs with a spatula and makes an omelet. She takes out two slices of bread and toasts them in the toaster. She washes some lettuce and tomatoes and cuts them into pieces. She takes out a plate and puts the bread on it. She puts the omelet on one slice of bread and the lettuce and tomatoes on the other. She puts some mayonnaise and mustard on the bread and closes the sandwich. She cuts the sandwich in half and puts it on the plate. She makes some lemonade with water, lemon juice, and sugar. She pours the lemonade into a glass and puts it on the plate. She takes the plate and the glass and goes to the dining table. She eats her lunch and drinks her lemonade. She thinks that her sandwich is delicious and her lemonade is refreshing. She feels satisfied and happy. After lunch, Linda decides to do some gardening. She loves plants and flowers and has a small garden in front of her house she puts on a hat, a pair of gloves, and some boots. She takes a watering can, a shovel, a rake, and some seeds. She goes outside and walks to the garden. She waters the plants and flowers with the watering can. She digs some holes with the shovel and plants some seeds. She rakes the soil and makes it smooth. 
she hopes that the seeds will grow into beautiful flowers. She smiles and admires her garden. She looks at the sky and sees that it is sunny and blue. She thinks that it is a perfect day for a walk. She takes off her hat, gloves, and boots and puts them in the house. She puts on a jacket, a pair of sneakers, and a backpack. She takes her phone, her wallet, and her keys. She locks the door and walks to the street. She walks around the neighborhood and greets some people. She likes to be friendly and polite. She sees some shops, cafes, parks, and buildings. She likes to explore new places and see new things. She walks for an hour and then stops at a cafe. She goes inside the cafe and orders a cup of tea and a slice of cake. She pays the cashier and takes a seat by the window. She sips her tea and eats her cake. She thinks that her tea is warm and her cake is sweet. She feels relaxed and happy. She looks out the window and sees some children playing with a ball. She watches them and remembers her childhood. She thinks that children are innocent and joyful. She smiles and feels nostalgic. She finishes her tea and cake and leaves the cafe. She walks back to her house and unlocks the door. She goes inside and puts her jacket, sneakers, and backpack in the closet. She takes her phone, wallet, and keys and puts them on the table. She feels tired and decides to take a nap. She goes to the bedroom and lies on the bed. She closes her eyes and falls asleep. She wakes up at five o'clock. She feels refreshed and energized. She gets up and goes to the bathroom. She splashes some water on her face and dries it with a towel. She goes to the living room and turns on the TV. She watches some news and some shows. She likes to be informed and entertained. She looks at the clock and sees that it is seven o'clock. She thinks that it is time for dinner. She goes to the kitchen and opens the fridge. She sees some chicken, potatoes, carrots, and peas. She thinks that she can make a roast with these ingredients. She takes out a baking dish and a cutting board. She cuts the chicken into pieces and puts them in the dish. She peels and cuts the potatoes and carrots and adds them to the dish. She adds some peas, salt, pepper, and oil to the dish. She mixes everything well and puts the dish in the oven. She sets the timer for 45 minutes and waits for the roast to cook. She smells the roast and thinks that it is delicious. She hears the timer and takes the dish out of the oven. She takes out a knife and a fork and cuts a piece of chicken. She tastes it and thinks that it is tender and juicy. She takes out a plate and a spoon and serves herself some roast. She makes some salad with lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, and dressing. She puts the salad on the plate. She makes some juice with water, orange juice, and ice. She pours the juice into a glass and puts it on the plate. She takes the plate and the glass and goes to the dining table. She eats her dinner 
and drinks her juice. She thinks that her roast is tasty and her juice is cold. She feels full and happy. After dinner, Linda decides to call her friend. She misses her friend and wants to talk to her. She takes her phone and dials her friend's number. She hears her friend's voice and says hello. She asks her friend how she is and what she did today. She listens to her friend and responds. She tells her friend about her day and what she did. She laughs with her friend and enjoys the conversation. She talks to her friend for an hour and then says goodbye. She hangs up the phone and feels glad that she has a good friend. She looks at the clock and sees that it is nine o'clock. She thinks that it is time for bed. She goes to the bathroom and brushes her teeth, washes her face, and puts on some cream. She goes to the bedroom and puts on some pajamas. She goes to the bed and pulls the covers. She picks up a book from the nightstand and reads a few pages. She likes to read before sleeping because it relaxes her mind. She puts the book down and turns off the lamp. She closes her eyes and falls asleep. She dreams of a beautiful garden with colorful flowers and butterflies. She feels peaceful and happy. Tom's Weekends Routine Tom is a single man who lives in a small house. He works as a teacher at a school. He likes his job, but he also likes to relax on the weekends. On Saturday morning, Tom wakes up at nine o'clock. He feels happy because he does not have to go to work. He gets up and goes to the bathroom. He brushes his teeth and takes a shower. He puts on some clean clothes and goes to the kitchen. He makes some coffee and toast for breakfast. He turns on the radio and listens to some music. He enjoys his breakfast and reads the newspaper. He learns about what is happening in the world. He sees an advertisement for a new movie. He thinks it looks interesting. He decides to go to the cinema later. He finishes his breakfast and washes the dishes. He goes to his bedroom and makes his bed. He tidies up his room and puts away his clothes. He feels good because his house is clean and organized. He looks at the clock and sees that it is 10.30. He has some time before the movie starts. He decides to go for a walk in the park. He puts on his jacket and shoes and leaves his house. He locks the door and walks to the park. He likes the park because it is green and peaceful. He sees some birds and squirrels. He hears some children playing and laughing. He smiles and says hello to some people. He feels happy and relaxed. He walks around the park for an hour. He gets some fresh air and exercise. He feels hungry and thirsty. He goes to a nearby cafe and orders a sandwich and a juice. He sits at a table and eats his lunch. He watches the people and cars passing by. He wonders what they are doing and where they are going. He finishes his lunch and pays the bill. He leaves a tip for the waiter. He says, thank you, 
and goodbye. He looks at his watch and sees that it is 12.15. He has some time before the movie starts. He decides to go to the library. He likes the library because it is quiet and full of books. He loves to read books. He goes to the fiction section and looks for a book. He finds a book that he has not read before. He reads the back cover and thinks it sounds exciting. He borrows the book and goes to a comfortable chair. He opens the book and starts to read. He gets lost in the story and forgets about everything else. He enjoys the book and reads for an hour. He looks at his watch and sees that it is 1.30. He has to go to the cinema. He closes the book and returns it to the shelf. He goes to the counter and gives his library card. He says, thank you and goodbye. He leaves the library and walks to the cinema. He likes the cinema because it is dark and big. He loves to watch movies. He goes to the ticket booth and buys a ticket for the new movie. He reads the title and thinks it sounds interesting. He goes to the snack bar and buys some popcorn and a soda. He goes to the auditorium and finds a seat. He sits down and waits for the movie to start. He eats some popcorn and drinks some soda. He feels excited and curious. The movie starts and he watches the screen. He sees some actors and actresses. He hears some dialogue and music. He follows the plot and the characters. He laughs and cries and gasps. He enjoys the movie and watches for two hours. He claps and cheers at the end. He thinks it was a great movie. He leaves the auditorium and throws away his trash. He goes to the restroom and washes his hands. He goes to the exit and leaves the cinema. He looks at his watch and sees that it is four o'clock. He has some time before dinner. He decides to go to the mall. He likes the mall because it is bright and busy. He loves to shop and browse. He goes to the entrance and walks inside. He sees some stores and products. He hears some announcements and music. He feels the air conditioning and smells the perfume. He goes to a clothing store and looks for a shirt. He finds a shirt that he likes. He tries it on and looks in the mirror. He thinks it fits well and looks good. He buys the shirt and pays with his credit card. He says thank you and goodbye. He puts the shirt in a bag and goes to another store. He goes to a bookstore and looks for a magazine. He finds a magazine that he likes. He flips through the pages and looks at the pictures. He thinks it is interesting and informative. He buys the magazine and pays with cash. He says thank you and goodbye. He puts the magazine in his bag and goes to another store. He goes to a music store and looks for a CD. He finds a CD that he likes. He listens to some samples and likes the songs. He thinks it is fun and catchy. He buys the CD and pays with his debit card. He says, thank you, and goodbye. He puts the CD in his bag and goes.
goes to another store. He goes to a toy store and looks for a gift. He finds a gift that he likes. He reads the label and thinks it is cool and creative. He buys the gift and pays with his gift card. He says thank you and goodbye. He wraps the gift and puts it in his bag. He goes to the food court. He likes the food court because it is tasty and diverse. He loves to eat and drink. He goes to a pizza place and orders a slice of pizza and a water. He goes to a table and eats his dinner. He watches the people and the lights. He feels full and satisfied. He finishes his dinner and throws away his trash. He leaves a tip for the staff. He says, thank you and goodbye. He looks at his watch and sees that it is six o'clock. He has some time before bedtime. He decides to go home. He leaves the mall and walks to his car. He puts his bag in the trunk and gets in the driver's seat. He starts the engine and drives to his house. He listens to the CD that he bought and sings along. He feels happy and content. He arrives at his house and parks his car. He gets out and takes his bag. He unlocks the door and goes inside. He turns on the lights and puts his bag on the couch. He goes to the kitchen and makes some tea. He goes to the living room and turns on the TV. He likes the TV because it is entertaining and informative. He loves to watch shows and programs. He goes to the channel guide and looks for a show. He finds a show that he likes. He watches the show and drinks his tea. He learns something new and laughs at something funny. He enjoys the show and watches for an hour. He looks at the clock and sees that it is seven o'clock. He has some time before bedtime. He decides to call his friend. He likes his friend because he is kind and funny. He loves to talk and listen. He goes to his phone and dials his friend's number. He waits for his friend to answer. He hears his friend's voice and says, hello. He starts a conversation and talks about his day. He tells his friend about the park, the library, the cinema, the mall, and the TV. He asks his friend about his day. He listens to his friend and says, Wow, and really, and that's great. He enjoys the conversation and talks for an hour. He looks at the clock and sees that it is eight o'clock. He has to go to bed. He says goodbye and hangs up the phone. He goes to the bathroom and brushes his teeth. He goes to his bedroom and changes into his pajamas. He goes to his bed and turns off the light. He lies down and closes his eyes. He thinks about his day and feels happy and grateful. He falls asleep and dreams of tomorrow. John's and Mary's Weekend's Routine It was a sunny Saturday morning. John and Mary, a married couple, woke up in their cozy bed. They smiled at each other and kissed. They were happy to have a day off from work and spend some quality time together. They got up and went to the bathroom. They brushed their teeth, washed their faces, and took a shower. 
they put on some comfortable clothes and went downstairs to the kitchen. They decided to make breakfast together. John boiled some eggs and toasted some bread. Mary sliced some cheese and ham and made some coffee. They set the table and sat down to eat. They talked about their plans for the day and what they wanted to do. After breakfast, they cleaned up the dishes and went to the living room. They turned on the TV and watched some news. They learned about what was happening in the world and in their country. They also watched some funny videos and laughed together. They enjoyed relaxing on the couch and cuddling with each other. They decided to go out for a walk. They put on their shoes and jackets and grabbed their keys and phones. They locked the door and walked to the park. They saw many people and animals in the park. They saw children playing, dogs running, birds singing, and flowers blooming. They felt the fresh air and the warm sun on their skin. They held hands and walked around the park. They stopped at a bench and sat down. They watched the scenery and talked about their dreams and memories. They felt hungry and decided to have lunch. They walked to a nearby restaurant and looked at the menu. They chose some dishes and drinks and ordered them. They waited for their food and chatted some more. They talked about their hobbies, their friends, their families, and their feelings. They received their food and ate it. They liked the food and complimented the chef. They paid the bill and left a tip. They thanked the waiter and left the restaurant. They wanted to do some shopping. They walked to a mall and entered it. They saw many shops and products in the mall. They saw clothes, shoes, books, electronics, toys, and more. They browsed through the shops and looked at the items. They tried on some clothes and shoes and asked each other for opinions. They bought some things that they liked and needed. They paid for their purchases and put them in their bags. They were happy with their shopping and left the mall. They decided to go back home. They walked to their car and put their bags in the trunk. They got in the car and drove home. They listened to some music and sang along. They also talked about their day and how much fun they had. They arrived at their home and parked the car. They took their bags and went inside. They unlocked the door and entered their house. They felt tired and decided to take a nap. They went upstairs to their bedroom. They took off their shoes and jackets and put them away. They lay down on their bed and covered themselves with a blanket. They cuddled with each other and closed their eyes. They fell asleep and dreamed of each other. They woke up after an hour. They felt refreshed and energized. They got up and went to the bathroom. They brushed their teeth, washed their faces, and changed their clothes. They went downstairs to the kitchen. They decided to make dinner together. John chopped some vegetables and cooked some pasta. Mary grated some cheese and made some salad. They set the table and sat down to eat. They talked about their evening 
and what they wanted to do. After dinner, they cleaned up the dishes and went to the living room. They turned on the TV and watched a movie. They chose a romantic comedy and played it. They watched the movie and enjoyed the story and the jokes. They also ate some popcorn and drank some soda. They hugged and kissed during the movie and expressed their love for each other. They decided to go to bed. They turned off the TV and the lights and went upstairs to their bedroom. They took off their clothes and put on their pajamas. They got into their bed and turned off the lamp. They snuggled with each other and whispered sweet words. They said good night and I love you. They fell asleep and dreamed of 